morning guys, welcome to another boot review video. Um, apologies for the bit of the darkness, but um, the great British weather has returned. So after a month of pure heat and sunshine in June, we've now returned to the norm of unpredictable rainy weather. Um, so yeah, uh, welcome this morning. Um, today's game day for me, it's my first pre-season game of the season. Um, so looking forward to that this afternoon. Um, so this morning to be a bit of prep, breakfast and uh, yeah, uh, then off to the game later. So my review this week is on the Nike Air Zoom Mercurial 15, I believe. Uh, this is the top of the range uh, Superfly edition uh, with the obviously higher collar, dynamic collar, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so this boot. I bought this boot because I love the colour. I've got I love the, the deep purple and the chrome colour. Um, so this is basically Nike's top of the range boot um, with their new or new-ish, should we say, Zoom A technology. Um, thoughts on this boot? I bought this boot for the last game of the season, last uh, obviously last season, uh, and wore it once. It was a proper horrible rainy day and uh, yeah, basically a quagmire of a pitch. Uh, unfortunately um, so I wore this boot for the first time and my initial thoughts were okay yeah uh, wasn't really blown away um, in all honesty so I also had from last season the 14 which is this is the pro so this is the takedown version uh, obviously I know most people are going to say well it's not the same it's the takedown version etc etc so I've worn this boot for quite a few games last season, playing for obviously on Saturdays for my development side and also for the vet, vet side, uh, so midweek games with vets. Um, I wore this get on AstroTurf or 4G, 5G, whatever you want to call it, and also on normal firm ground pitches. I haven't really worn this in a soft, uh, in a soft ground match, no I haven't. So. Vapor Posit, and this is their fly knit material on the top. This boot is, in my opinion, completely overheight. Completely overheight. Uh, it weighs in at 207 grams, which is about 7.3 ounces, which is, you know, fairly light, but it's a speed boot, so I wouldn't, it's not sub 200 grams. Um, so yeah, um, it's not the it's not the lightest boot at the end of the day. Um, it's got their ACC all conditions control, whichever that is on the top there, and obviously you know it's it's fairly soft and pliable, and the touch on the ball is okay. Um, is it worth the two hundred and fifty? I mean, I didn't pay 250 English pounds, um, but I think this retailed at 250, 260. UK pounds and it's a UK size 9 um, which is not my usual size my normal size is an 8.5 um, but this is too small an 8.5 so they definitely come up smaller uh, a 9 is perfect um, is it any different to this really for the money I paid I think about 110 pounds for these um, I just wanted a black pair of boots for the for obviously playing vets football it's not all about the colour and so on and so forth. This weighs in at 230 grams, which is 8.1 ounces. The, there's no difference, guys. Seriously, save your money. Okay, the, this Nike Air Zoom technology is literally, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're comfortable. They are super comfortable. I can't say they're not comfortable. Um, but literally, you've got this air unit just in the bottom here, which is so thin, it's not even like a pair of Nike Air trainers. It's so super thin. I wore these on Thursday uh, for training, um, just to give them a, uh, you know, another go, which was a good hour, hour and 10, 15 minutes training. Seriously guys, this and this, I cannot tell really the difference. These are still all padded in the heel here. Yeah, this has got no, not, this has got no air unit. I know the, the new version of the Pro, so this year's Pros have a little bit of air in the sole. Is that gonna make it in the heel? Is that gonna make any difference? No. The only difference I can tell between these two boots 
is the price. 100% the price. The materials on the top, you know, that's, that's you know, soft and pliable and it, they're comfortable. You know, this the sat is soft and pliable. The touch on the ball is, yeah, you're going to be able to touch, the, touch and feel the ball, 100%. Is it worth 250, 260 English pounds, whatever that is in dollars and so on and so forth? No, 100% no. It is all hype. Um, it's just, there's just no different. In fact, if I have to be honest, because of, if I have to be honest, I would prefer to wear this boot over this boot. Don't ask me why, I don't know what it is, if it's just, if it, was, if it seems to feel more, snapback even in this pro version look at the snapback on that you know it, it gives you this you can push off in this boot and when i played in this boot i i felt okay and obviously i use this boot in as i said in vets but i'm quite fit for a, an older guy so i'm quite i'm still not as fast as i used to be but you know um but quite quick in these boots they don't particularly they're not you know they are supposed to be 230 grams but it doesn't feel like that um Wearing this boot on Thursday and in the last game of the season, yeah, it's lighter but and it's comfortable, but is it worth the extra 140 English pounds? 100% not. 100% it's been, in my opinion, and it's my opinion, I think these boots are super overhyped. This air unit does not benefit you in a game whatsoever. Um, it might be slightly more comfortable underfoot. Other than that, there's no different. In my opinion, guys, if you're going out to buy a pair of boots and you want a pair of Mercurials and you don't have to have the top of the range Ronaldo and whoever else is wearing them at the time, don't buy these. Do not buy these Nike Air top of the range ones because in my opinion, I don't personally think they're worth it. Um, save your money. You can get probably two pairs of pros if you shopped around for the same sort of money. And obviously the pros from this generation is probably gonna be better than this this last generation as well. Uh, but don't get me wrong, I mean, I think this is a great boot for a takedown boot. Um, yeah, save money guys, seriously. Don't go and waste it on the top of the range ones. Um, that's it for me guys. Um, just again, another honest opinion there from myself. You guys might have different opinions. We all got different opinions when it comes to football boots. Um, once again, if you like the video, if you like the honest opinions and obviously reviews of the boots, give it a like, leave some comments. I'm happy to hear any comments from any guys. Um, but other than that, um, if you're playing a game today, happy game day. As I said, it's uh, my first pre-season of the, of the new season today. The weather is gonna be perfect because it's raining out there at the moment which is going to make the pitches super skiddy so looking forward to that um but yeah thanks for watching guys as i said um there'll be another bit review shortly i'm not sure what i'm going to go with next so leave some comments i've got some mizuno takedowns and also some new balance to takedowns as well to to review so whichever one you'd like or if you'd like a different video please leave a like please leave your comments and i'll catch you later have a game day